Today, we're going to make a orange rice cake. Not that kind of rice cake. Trust me, it'll be good. I got this recipe from the legendary chef Gennaro Cantalo. Now, if you don't know who Gennaro Cantaldo is, you're living in a culinary vacuum. The cake is made out of rice, but also includes other ingredients like egg yolks, milk, vanilla, lemon, and of course, orange. We're making an orange rice cake, after all. Now, I know what you're thinking. A cake made of rice? Gross! But trust me, it'll be delicious. But isn't this your first time making it? Shut up. It'll be delicious. Now, the first thing you have to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So for today's recipe, we're going to need 300 grams of arborio rice, also known as risotto rice, 200 grams of sugar, the zest of half a lemon, the zest of an orange, one long and lean vanilla pod, two ounces of orange liqueur. I promise the alcohol burns off during baking. Just about one half gallon of milk, raisins, oh yeah. I don't like raisins. They look like little bug corpses. Five eggs, separated. Come on, baby, give me another chance. No, you've had your last chance. I think we need some time apart. But, but, no. Now, while the rice is cooking in the milk, you can whip the egg whites into a meringue because what we're gonna do is fold that into the cooled rice mixture. That'll make it so fluffy, you'll feel like you're eating a ricey cloud. We have to cut the seeds out of the vanilla pod, so we just slice it right down the middle and scrape the seeds right out. That's a good amount. You also want to take the zest of half a lemon, and I am using a vegetable peeler here because it's okay if it comes off in large strips. In fact, it's easier to pull it out. What you want to be careful of is to not get any of the white or the pith on it because that'll just add bitterness. And now we want to bring 1.7 liters of milk or three pints up to a boil with the vanilla pod, the lemon, and the sugar. That's one liter. That's 0.7 liters. What do we do with a little bit of milk left? We chug it! I don't feel so good. Add the lemon peel, the vanilla, throw the pods in too, and the sugar. Give it a good stir. And now we're gonna let that slowly come to a boil. And now we separate the eggs. I like the method of cracking the egg into my hand so that I can control the yolk. Boop. It's better this way. Ah! I can't live without you. five egg yolks, we're going to add 50 milliliters of orange liqueur. Ooh. And then we just whisk it until it's creamy. That'll do. We're going to set these egg yolks aside for now. And then we're going to whip up these egg whites into a nice frothy meringue. We're going to test it to see if it forms any stiff peaks. Not yet. More whipping. That's more what we're looking for. We're gonna set that aside and fold it in after this rice mixture is cooled down. The milk has come to a boil. So now we're gonna add the risotto rice and let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. That'll give the rice a chance to absorb all the milk and for all the flavors of the lemon zest and vanilla pot and the sugar to kind of blah, blah, blah all together to make this a really delicious dish. You want to watch and make sure that the milk doesn't boil over. Even at a simmer, it can get out of hand. So be careful and control your heat. To the cooled rice mixture, we add the uh, egg yolks. Make sure you get all the egg yolks. Waste not, want not. Stir that into the mixture. The next thing we do 
is take our meringue and fold it into plop, plop. Yeah. Try trying to escape. No escapees. And then we just gently fold it. You don't want to stir it because then you lose all those great little bubbles. So we fold it in until it is completely incorporated. The last thing we do is put in some orange zest. Just zest the whole thing. It does not need its own skin. It's just an orange. Now we have a line spring form pan. I'd have shown you how to line this thing, but it took me a half hour. I swore a lot and I almost threw this thing in the trash. So no video. So now we just pour this. Oh, I wish you could smell this. We pour this right into the line spring form pan. And voila. Now we stick this in the oven for about an hour or a little more and then we eat. This has been daily vlog number 52, 313 to go. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna eat cake.